Hey guys, today is such a special day because I am going to visit a person that I haven't seen for seven years. She played such a huge role in my violin career and I'm so thankful to her. She is my first violin teacher in America. We are traveling with my family in Oregon and I wanted to surprise her. I got my violin with me so maybe we'll play something together. Guys, stay till the end to see her reaction of my visit. Okay guys, we are here. The time has come. Let's go and see my first violin teacher, Alyssa. Got my violin with me and the little gift, some chocolates. So let's go. Guys, as you can see, there's a sign that says music lessons. Guys, look at these beautiful flowers. Is this for you? Oh my goodness, thank you You're so You're much. welcome. Awesome. Good to see Please. you. Come on, somebody's a little bit taller. Yeah. Please come in. Yeah. Usually mom sits in a comfy chair. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. It's so beautiful here. I'm pleased to see you too. It's been so long. Yes. Um, this is for you. It's a little gift. I just wanted to show you and tell you what it means. Okay. First of all, this is a bookmark with a um, butterfly, and I know you like to read, so this is for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes. This is a teacup for you. There's also a plate here. Oh my goodness. Yes, that whenever you drink tea, you can remember our visit. Well, of course. And this is a Redwood Highway in California, and a plate that you can hang on the wall. It's from California. So. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And then this is a plate for the teacup. Ooh, very nice. Well, this is very special cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is a little thing with a butterfly and Ooh. a bee. And to me, it represents that you're the butterfly and you're the teacher. You teach me violin and I'm the little bee. Oh, this is so lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I believe it. <laughs> Yay. It looks like it. I love it. Thank you so, so much. So I thought that it would be fun for you to have something that reminds you of Oregon and and then the Park Place Music Academy. And nowadays Oregon City Music Academy. So so this is for you. So it's a practical gift. Can I open it? Yes, of course. You can wear it. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Thank you so much. Wow. I hope it inspires you to make it further nice music thank you i love necklaces and i'll definitely wear this one thank oh, you it's so glad you like it well, i've been seeing your your facebook page and i often follow up what the, you have been up to but now that you are here tell me something oh uh, well i practice every day like you told me <laughs> yes. i remember you told me it was so important to uh, even if it's a little bit of time, like 30 minutes, to do it every day. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now I practice two hours every day. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, <laughs> on my trip, yeah, I brought my violin. Mm -hmm. And now, yeah, I practice. Um, also, uh, when we moved, I didn't have a violin teacher, so my mom continued practicing on with me. Yes. Uh, yeah, but then we found one. It was very nice uh, to continue on with Suzuki because it reminded me mm -hmm. of you. So I finished uh, seven books. After that teacher, I got another one, and his name is Mr. Sam Fisher. Mm -hmm. And he uh, works in Colburn in California. So yeah, I still work with him. And I'm working right now on the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto. Wonderful. And then I switched to traditional music. Yes. It's like, uh, classical uh, concertos and yes yeah. i've seen you play some concertos <laughs> and wonderful things yeah, classical thank as you. well how did you come up with them with that more popular music that that you are so well known of 
Tell me something about that. How did that happen? Well, me and my family and some friends, we were walking down Santa Monica Pier, and I saw all of these performers. They weren't just music performers, but they were also drawing and dancing, doing some uh, football tricks, playing uh, some interesting instruments that I never even saw before, playing guitar, violin, and so I was thinking, I want to have my own money that I can spend and save, mm -hmm. and I want to street perform, try it out and see if it works. So my parents, they, um, they supported my idea, and the first time that we went, it was Venice Beach, and I was eight years old. It was a tough experience because there was this guy who was making octopus out of sand, wet sand, and he was very mean. He started yelling at us because we were like taking his crowd and everything. And I just went with my mom, so my dad was at work. Uh, and then my mom's like, no, I, I don't want to go back there. But my dad said, no, we are going back and we're going to go with me now. And so we went the other time and it was at Santa Monica and it was in an area that we were not supposed to play and we didn't know anything so mm -hmm. the police came up <laughs> and they said they were nice and uh, they said that we couldn't play there but we couldn't play in the other park mm -hmm. so yeah to play there we had to have a permit and everything um so i had like a little teddy bear that i put on my violin case and i had a sign that said thank you that i drew with my own uh coloring Aww. crayons and so uh it worked like I uh, for 45 minutes I think I got $80 that second time mm -hmm. uh, and I was just playing Suzuki book uh, pieces with that book one amplifier. probably yeah. yeah book one book two book two yeah yeah I was nervous but but now I'm not nervous as anymore to perform in public but then I was I was little and I didn't have so much experience in performing in public um, so yeah, then we came back and we started performing on the pier and then we tried out the promenade and now I still play at the promenade, it's very nice there. What do you like the most, to perform or to, or to teach? I actually like both in a different way. I, I really like, as, as a job, as a work, I like teaching, it just brings every day, I get energized when I come to my studio, the lights on can see everything is ready and I go, hmm, here we go again, how oh, nice, who is coming today? And, but at the same time, being able to create your own music, it's a different, it comes from a different part of me. Yeah. So playing music, it's pretty important. It's kind of creative, expressive part, um, different channel. Yeah. And um, I also play at the local uh, Villa with Paul Symphony. Wow. And wow. I played for years there the violin. And then, uh, because I'm teaching also viola, um, I thought maybe I try out if I can uh, play viola, keep up with the symphony music with viola. And now I'm playing viola at the symphony. It's my new adventure. Wow. That's so cool. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Is it harder than violin? Because I, I know it's bigger and the arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have a good play position, you can hold the viola. <laughs> and uh, also, in symphony, even if you play, the rehearsing can be two, two and a half hours to three hours. Oh. You get little uh, breaks um, when the other instruments are playing, so so it's not uh, that tiring. I, I don't feel like it's too tiring or it's just a different instrument. Um, a little bit different bow technique, etc. But I enjoy it. I don't find it more difficult. That's good. <laughs>
pretty. I'll treasure forever and I'm, I'm so happy that I got to do this, that I got to see her and play with her. It was really cool. <laughs> it was so fun. Yeah, you sounded great together. Guys, if you live in Oregon and you're looking for music lessons, my teacher, Elisa Boyton, this is her phone number and uh, her studio is here so you can take violin lessons. This teacher was so great that my parents drove me 45 minutes all the way to her house and back for my lessons every week. I remember she told me that practicing every day for even 30 minutes, it is a big deal. If you practice for one hour once a week, it's not going to be as productive if you practice 30 minutes every day. And it was such amazing advice that brought me a long way. I remember I had a little notebook, a journal for my violin lessons and my teacher, she would put cute stickers on my notebook. And when it was my birthday, my teacher was so kind to give me a pin with a violin on it that you can put on your clothes. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I enjoyed our visit so much. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.